Dermot McMurray was the King of Leinster. He was known for his bad reputation. Dermot was born in the 12th century around the year 1110. He was the son of Donick and Orla McMurray and had a sister named Anna. As a child, he witnessed his father's death by the Hiberno Norse men from Dublin. His father's body was buried beneath their assembly hall with a dead dog as a sign of respect and loyalty. Dermot was appointed king after the death of his father. He was ferocious and showed no mercy, killing and blinding 17 rivals in 1141. Dermot was fearful he would remain in purgatory forever for his actions, so he built an abbey and paid many monks to pray for his forgiveness. He disputed with Tiernan O'Rourke, King of Brethney, and kidnapped his wife. Tiernan joined with the High King and exiled Dermot, who fled to England. Dermot petitioned to the Anglo-Normans for help. Richard de Clare, Earl of Pembroke, who was later known as Strongbow, agreed to lead an army to Ireland in exchange for Aoife's hand in marriage and land in Leinster. MacMurra returned to Ireland and reclaimed Wexford in 1167. He waited for Strongbow in the Abbey. Strongbow arrived and took the east coast. Dermot died in 1171, leaving Strongbow to declare himself King of Leinster. He was buried in Fern's Cathedral. Dermot will always be remembered for being the man who brought the English into Ireland.